You know the sound you get when pushing the amp into overdrive? Well, that's what this pedal emulates. This is my third Boss pedal, and I already know it's going to sound good. So thanks for watching. Boss's answer to the TS9 Tube Screamer. This is the Boss SD1, and it's not just any overdrive. It's a super overdrive, and you can pick it up brand new for $50. The SD1 Super Overdrive pedal produces the warm natural distortion of an overdriven tube amp while maintaining the subtle nuances of a player's picking technique. It has a lot of dynamics. This is one of Boss's more subtle and smooth overdrive pedals, perfect for blues and rock. <laughs> Three controls on the SD1, level, drive and tone, nice and simple. The level adjusts the output volume of the pedal, the drive adds more, you guessed it, drive, and the tone dials in a brighter or darker sound. Similar to all Boss pedals, it uses the same housing format and of course feels like it will last forever. These things are built like tanks. The battery compartment, as always, is underneath the foot switch. And I'll be honest, this does sound a lot better with compression before it. That's just my opinion. quick history of the SD1, just in case you're interested. It was launched initially in February 1981, and then SD1 production moved from Japan to Taiwan in early 1988. It was one of the first pedals produced in Roland's Taiwan factory. It was modified for the PSA power adapter in early 1997, which can be identified by the change from black to silver bottom labels. And the earliest SD1s were shipped with the silver colored thumb screw, but this was changed to the current black screw only months into production. Also a special Zack Wilde painted SD1 was made for Ishibashi Music in Japan in 2001. They're very rare and unconfirmed rumours has it that only five of these were ever made. So what more can you say? The original Tube Screamer. Of course there was the TS9 that preceded it, but early TS9s were fizzy and the SD1 was more of a smooth overdrive that just pushed the front of the tube amp. So, would you buy it? Well, yeah, I already bought it. Now what I mean is, would you buy it again? Well, no, I mean, why would I need two? No, no, no. Would you recommend it? Ah, see what you mean. Well, it's $50. And it's a boss pedal. It's a great thing. So leave your comments below as always. I read and reply to them all. I love talking to you guys. Stay well. <laughs>